Okay, so I'm inside my hidey hole. It's still nighttime. I'm still recording. This is the same. This is like seconds after I said I'll see you later last time. Because, you know, when you first start a new game of Minecraft, you're like, I gotta play, I gotta play. And it wasn't really that long anyway, so why not? So if I could find skeleton bums and get some torches, I mean, bones. Oh, don't go away, wolf. Please don't go away. I wonder if I could survive with a wolf. It's not easy. Gosh. You watch Kurt's videos, you can see how easy it is. Oh, stuff those... You know, he had a bunch of wolves at first. And that didn't work out too well. And then he ended up with Wolfie. And somehow, all this time later, he still got him. Animal AI is really complicated and not easy and yeah, having a pack of wolves that was just a lot of stuff I on the other hand have never been able to keep wolves alive because they are like lava magnets or magnets magnets or lava is wolf magnets that's probably what it is because if there's lava wolves and cats will go right to it Oh, I have a cat story to tell you. You know, I've got three cats. Their names are Itty Bitty, Fatty Waddy Kitty Catty, and Osa. Osa means bear in Spanish. She's a big fuzzy black cat, and she kind of looks like a bear. She's also very grumpy, so she kind of is a bear. How's my... Oh, I'm going to need a new pick soon. So, I have this little cat door that I made. There's a bottom panel in my front door that just... Uh, I cut part of it out. So, I've got a, a hole that's just cat and weasel size, you know, weasel's a chihuahua and probably, um, Russell Terrier, so they all fit through that little hole in the door just fine, and then I cover the whole doorway with a curtain so cold air doesn't get in, or hot air get in, or whatever, depending on the temperature, the time of year, and, uh, the cats and dog can come in and go out whenever they feel like. So, usually I lie in bed when I'm watching videos or playing Minecraft because I have a laptop and it sits on my tummy while I work. Well, yeah, but I do get up and stand up sometimes and I just kind of like lean on the bed and my laptop's right in front of me and I'll watch videos or I'll play YouTube, play YouTube, play Minecraft. And uh, so the other night I was doing that because I was having a snack and something cold to drink, watching a YouTube video. And laid it on the bed with my back to the door. And I felt this cold little nose come up and smell my ankles. And I wondered which cat it was because they don't usually do that. They just come in and they will rub on me with their furry little bodies. But they don't, like, sniff me because they know who I am. So I turned around to see who was sniffing me. And whoever it was jumped and ran out the door and I realized... Oh my gosh, that's not a cat. It was the skunk. See, somebody's been coming in at night and tipping over the cat food can. You know those cans that popcorn comes in at Christmas time? Two different kinds of popcorn, cheese, and uh, regular buttered popcorn and caramel popcorn? Well, I saved those cans because they're really good for putting all kinds of food and stuff in so that mice and bugs can't get in my food. And I have one out with a... Uh, kitchen trash bag in it for the cats. That's what I put the cat food in. And recently, in the past month or so, almost every day I would get up in the morning and the cat food can would be turned over and a little bit of cat food well, look at me. A little bit of cat food would be poured on the floor. But it was done in such a way that you could tell that whoever was doing it wasn't just like dumping it, tipping it over. Somebody was doing it very carefully and very quietly to make sure that I didn't hear them. It was a skunk. So she didn't hurt me and she didn't spray me or anything like that. Like I said, she was scared, but she just went back out the door and, you know, went on with her life. We've met each other before. I've been out in the yard and seen some little fuzzy thing that I didn't know what it was when I was looking for something else in the opposite direction and it was just a I'd come out and kind of surprise the skunk. This guy wants to be my friend, doesn't he? 
or she? Is this a boy or a girl? The moon going down? Yes. Well, let's look for some um, skeleton bones and things. I bet there are some. We're close enough that things could have spawned. I didn't hear anything, but that didn't mean they didn't. But that doesn't mean there's not a creeper on top of this hill waiting for me right this minute while I'm sitting here being silly and digging dirt. Let's look around. There's a creeper in the water. Don't horse around, man, because these cooties will kill ya. They don't care. They'll kill ya right dead. I like that grass block. That's cool. Creeper in the water. Looking everywhere for skeleton residue. Not seeing anything. Well, I know they can go that far. Oh, I forgot. Back in the old days, see the yellow flowers? Hear it? Skeleton. Where? I'm getting close. It's trying to kill me. I can't block. Die. Come on, die. Leave me bones. Leave me bones. Leave me bones. I can't block. I can't block. It died. Did it leave me any bones? Really? Left something. Yep. How many bones? Just one. Well, I thought there would be guys around here. Now, let's see what else we can find. You don't suppose I could tame this wolf with one bone, do you? Get these out, put that down, let's see what happens. Are you going to be cheap? Yep. Okay, well, I'm too near water for one thing to get a good collection of cooties right here. Oh, that's got to go. Look at that. Actually, you know, that would be pretty cool. It's a good way to see where I am. Bing! That'd be cool. I do want to find skeletons. Beautiful. Oh, my pick. I have more. Didn't go in the right slot, but that's alright. Anything will fall on my head? Not for mirror. Alright. So, yeah, catching a wolf would be smart. So, what was I talking about? Something smart, I'm sure. Anyway, I've gotten over kind of my fear of the mobs, but this version of the game is really different. And I've never played it, so we shall see. How well I do with the mobs in this game. I know things run out quickly. Uh, items need repair quickly. That sort of thing. So uh, it's a different game than what I'm used to. 23 seconds till the timer goes off. Which means I have about a minute. Uh, any more skeleton residue? I'm still looking for skeleton pieces. Come on guys. Barf up some goodies for me. I bet they despawn by now. Well, maybe not. You never know. What's over here? That's always a dangerous thing to say. One minute. Hello? Do you see any stuff? I see coal. Yeah. That's a good thing. There's In this version of the game, there's never too much coal. Ever, ever. There's spider. Okay, I'm going to restart the recording. Alright. Oop, and the timer. Almost messed that up. This is a little disjointed at first as I get used to doing this, talking while I'm trying to do stuff. Because I'm thinking about 8 million things at once. Like, there's so much stuff I want to do with you guys. Like, I know some of you guys are really smart and know all kinds of things about this game that I don't know. Because, like I said, I'm not a gamer, and I'm not a granny, which is 
why it's funny to call yourself Cranny Gamer One. And I'm not the only older person that plays this game. There's a lot of us. This game is a real good game for older folks. Uh, it's good for memory and all kinds. Oh, Lord. Some of those beautiful, beautiful biomes with the really interesting terrain. See, I don't know what I want to do. Oh, look, arrows. Any bones? Any bones? Any bones? No, but arrows. Uh, I don't know what I want to do. Do I want to go exploring? No, I'm not going to try to walk to the far lands. Uh, are there... I don't think there's strongholds and stuff in this. But, uh, I just want to check it out because I never got to. So, I'm not really sure what I want to do with this series except talk, tell stories, answer questions you guys might have, or ideas that you might have, just address them, you know, that kind of thing. Have a conversation. Because... Some of you have known me for a year now, and have been watching my videos for a year, and I think it'd just be cool if we just, like, hung out and chilled, because, you know, I'm saving up money to start the, um, I don't want to kill you, to start the server again, mm -hmm. and we're going to be playing together, it'd be nice if we knew who each other was, kind of deal, but I think, oh, cows for me, this is back when, that's another reason I'm playing this. Uh, is because I want to play a version of Minecraft where animals spawn on grass. Because I would like to play a version of Skyblock where you have to wait for grass to spawn animals. And you can't really play it if you're playing on a world where animals don't spawn. Love how the sound effect keeps going even after the animal's dead. Oh, I could be collecting some of this. And probably should because glass is a good thing to have. When things are trying to beat your brains in all the time. Ooh, clay. Don't pass clay! I don't know why, but don't do it. Because, well, there weren't that many building materials back then. Clay was a big deal. I've got uh, less than a minute. Then I'm going to have to turn off this recording. So, I guess I should go back home. Ooh! Lots of saplings. I'm not sure what I need them for. But... Oh, that one's attached. Grow another tree. Grow another tree. We always need trees. Whoops, I think that's too close to the pillar. It grew fine there, I think, though. So, yeah, that's the purpose of this Let's Play, is just to have a conversation. Because, like I said, I didn't open this channel to be a boss or be an expert. I opened this channel because I love this game, and I know a lot of other people do, too. And I wanted to meet people who love this game. So with about less than 30 seconds to go, I'm going to go in. I'm going to shut this off. And next time, I'm going to build a furnace. See ya!